So I found myself sitting in a courtroom, customers right across from me, mediator in the room with us, telling me essentially that I had to settle. I was almost sued, taking a small claims court for a business that I owned in the past. Um, and I didn't actually create any of the problems. I was just involved in the business transaction, the real estate transaction, which led me into that courtroom. I settled with a payment plan with my customers and I had to personally deliver a signed check with my name on it to their house, to their mailbox every single month. If I would have been protected, this could have looked a lot different. This isn't the first time. Second time around was a knock at the door. Someone asked me, are you so-and-so? Yes, transaction was handled. They gave, they served me papers. They let me know that I was uh, being sued essentially with a claim against my contractor's license, a claim against my bond. And I was being told over the phone that this could be um, considered job abandonment, which would give me a felony. So how can you protect yourself and how do you know uh, when it's time for an LLC. Welcome to LLC Launchpad, the YouTube channel that's dedicated to helping entrepreneurs just like yourself start and grow your LLCs. So how can you protect yourself in a situation like I found myself in twice? Well, an LLC is a great way to start, but just starting an LLC isn't the uh, fix-all solution. But let's get into some of those details and see how you can protect yourself in future business transactions and see if a LLC is even right for you. First of all, guys, this is a brand new YouTube channel and I'm excited to bring my experiences to the table as a former business owner. I've started several businesses in the past, some of which have failed. I've learned the hard way that not having an LLC and not having proper protections uh, in place, um, how that can really put you in a vulnerable spot and, and potentially get you into a bad situation. So I'm hoping that by sharing these experiences with you that you guys can also protect yourself. Here's what I will say. I am not a lawyer. This is not legal advice. Please do not take it as legal advice. I do want to share my experiences with you, but I, as always, I would encourage you to seek after professional help because every state county, city, all those ordinances are different, the laws are different. Depending on where you're at, um, that's gonna be a different, a totally different situation for you. So please seek legal help. Um, I do have some people that I can recommend um, that have helped me. I'll put the links down in the description and they have helped me tremendously, but I'll get more into that um, and, and tell you why I would recommend a service like this. But, but for right now, let's get into the nitty gritty. So for starters, you might even be asking, what is an LLC? An LLC stands for Limited Liability Company. So essentially what that does is provide liability protection to its owners, otherwise known as members. And so what that means is if the corporation or the LLC um, is sued, the member's personal assets are protected. Now remember my story from the beginning. When I was getting sued, my house was on the line, all of my personal assets were on the line. Uh, they could have forced me to sell my vehicles to pay off the debt. So that brings me to the next point is how are LLCs different than any other type of business entities? Well, for starters, um, sole proprietorships or partnerships are not separate business entities from the members, which means owners are uh, personally liable for any legal issues that may arise. So corporations offer liability protection, but they can be a little more difficult to set up depending on what state you're in, and they are a little more costly. The reason I like LLCs is because they offer the same protections as a corporation would um, and, and really protects its owners, but it doesn't have a lot of the same formalities and management structure of say like an S corporation or something of that sort. And also as far as tax goes, tax situations go, uh, LLCs are a pass through tax uh, structure. So the corporation itself isn't taxed and then you're taxed on a personal income level. You will be actually only taxed personally. The corporation is not taxed as a corporation. So what that means is that you will be taxed, at least here in the state of California, 
as you are self-employed. So you will have to pay a self-employment tax. Really, it's the same way that you might be getting paid right now as a sole proprietor, is you still have the self-employment tax and you don't have the protections of an LLC or a corporation. Forming an LLC can be a way uh, to work with that. Now, like I said, check legal advice and make sure that an LLC is right for you. But for me, this is what worked and this is um, what is you know what I should have done in the past with the other, the home inspection company and my uh, contracting company. I should have had an LLC to protect me, but I didn't. So that's why I'm excited to share this with you in hopes that you know this this is going to forewarn you, but also uh, maybe teach you something that, that the protection is needed from your personal assets. So as I said before, owners of LLCs are all are now called members. And the members of that LLC uh, who form the LLC don't have to live all in the same state. And in fact, you don't even have to live in the same city. So um, that, that's also a benefit to an LLC. So the members of the LLC, typically what you see the structure is that the LLC is member managed. Now you can have uh, outside uh, management firms manage your LLC for you and they would become part of the LLC with you. Um, and maybe you are the operator or just a silent partner or something like that, you would still be a member. But see, you can already tell that this seems like it might get kind of tricky. So starting an LLC is only the start. And what we would hope to help you here at LLC Launchpad is not just to start an LLC, but how to manage and maintain it throughout your business. One of the things that you're going to have to do is an operating agreement. That's one of the things you're going to have to write out and form out. And I would highly recommend starting to work on that now. In fact, a link in the description where you can get a free operating agreement and use that that was written by lawyers um, to be your starting point. Now, you can just use this oper operating agreement, but it is pretty vague and it leaves a lot of detail out. So any kind of structure you want to Place. For example, who is going to manage the day-to-day -day operations? Who is going to manage the finances? Maybe who is going to do upkeep on the building if you have one? Who's going to run the website and social media? Those kind of things should be put into the operating agreement as to what members are going to perform what duties and I would have that looked over by a lawyer. LLCs technically are still considered fairly new. They've only been around since around 1977 starting in the state of Wyoming. And then now all 50 states recognize LLCs as a corporation entity. And they all have LLC statutes in their books. And since then, LLCs have grown and exploded and uh, have been a very popular choice for businesses to get the legal protections, but also some flexibility in their tax um, structure. So why were LLCs created? Why might you want an LLC? The reason is, is you might want some legal protections. For example, uh, my partner and I are going in together on a YouTube venture that I ran and started for myself a, 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 like two years ago. Um, but now he wants a piece of that pie and we're going to build that up together. Um, but we want some legal protections in place um, and we want to have uh, some documentation that protects us personally and our friendship as well. So we're going to have an operating agreement that describes um, what each person is going to be doing. We formed an LLC to protect us uh, in, that, in that venture together. Um, so a partnership with an LLC is actually a lot better than just word of mouth, handshake, go down to the city, get a partnership uh, business certificate and, and just operate that way. This offers an actual protection um, between two friendships, maybe uh, it could be also marriage, a marriage relationship. Let's say maybe you guys, somebody's getting a divorce, and the husband and wife own a business, but they want to continue that business together, but not really be stuck together on a personal level. An LLC offers a great way to express how that business is going to continue to operate, and uh, give some personal asset protection uh, and liability protection in that situation where they can you know, continue on with the divorce, God forbid, um, but still have the protections in place that they need to operate that business on a legal standpoint. What you can expect from this channel is that we are going to help you explain um, as to why you would possibly need an LLC like we've done in this video, 
help you start up an LLC, um, walk you through the steps of how to start an LLC. But like I said, keep in mind, all 50 states are gonna vary. There are gonna be different laws, different legislation, different things in place. Fees are all different here in the state of California. Um, we have an annual tax fee of $800, uh, minimum tax, annual minimum tax of $800, which goes up um, over time. And other states like Wyoming, I believe is $50. But I'll get more into the details um, later on in other videos. But you guys, if you're looking at starting an LLC, this is the channel to subscribe to. So like this video if it really helped you out. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content and hit the notification bell in order to be notified when we have new videos out. One more thing I wanna talk about. My partner and I, we decided to start, a, start up an LLC together to protect ourselves during this YouTube venture. Um, so what, what we did was we decided to use a service rather than trying to find all the paperwork and fill it all out ourselves. It was so time consuming and we decided we didn't want to do that. So what I found is that there is a company called Northwest Registered Agents um, and there are other services like this, but we, I'm going to provide a link down here in the description that you can actually get your LLC started up for right now is $60. This, this could change depending on when you watch this video, but right now it's $60 to start your LLC. You get a registered agent service uh, for free for the first year. Speaking of registered agent services, I did not talk about that in this video. Remember I said that I had somebody knock on my door and hand me a piece of paper telling me I was getting sued? I was served legal paperwork personally. A registered agent service is a mailing address that if there is any kind of legal issues um, like that situation, that will not be showing up to your personal address. There won't be somebody there to serve you personally because you are protected through your LLC. A registered agent service offers another layer. So what that is going to do is anytime there's any kind of legal paperwork involved in your business transactions, let's say you're getting sued, that paperwork is going to be sent to your registered agent. Now that could be a member of your LLC if you would like it to be sent to a member of the LLC and they obtain that information at their address as a member of the corporation, not as an individual. I found that it is better to keep my personal addresses out of the situation and just allow somebody else to take that um, job over for me. So it's a lot easier to let a registered agent just handle that documentation for you and any kind of legalities that might come up. After your first year, it do does cost about a hundred bucks, but it is well worth it to keep people from knocking on your door if you're at a high risk business. And if you're already in business for yourself, $100 to have that legal mail sent somewhere else and not to your house where they're not hounding you um, is just, man, it's a breath of fresh air. It's so much relief and, and you just don't have to worry about it. So I, that's why I love LLCs. That's why I love registered agent services. So Northwest registered agents for $60, depending on the state that you're in, you might have a different fee. Um, but right now it's, it's $60. I was in the state of California. Um, very inexpensive to get your LLC started using this link. They will make it simple and, and manage, you know, figure out what members you have. Uh, you put all the information in about your LLC, your LLC name and all that kind of stuff, and they will file the paperwork for you. Here's the benefit to that also. I, I did this with my business partner. As we were filling out the documentation, it may not be this quick for you guys, but it was for us. They called us, like within the first 20 minutes, they called us to help us make sure that we had all the correct information. They told us what was gonna take place from this point on. Uh, they verified that our purchase was valid. They went over our business name and the structure with us. Like right after we submitted our paperwork online and, and they, well, it was actually just a really easy form. They walked us through these steps online and, and um, Actually, I'm going to have a video about that as well, how to form it through Northwest Reg uh, Registered Agents. So that's going to be really helpful. But man, I was like, I could not believe the service that I was getting. And, and for 60 bucks, like I literally paid $60, they are going to do all this stuff for me. And they called me to walk me through and guide me to let me know that they're going to be with me every step of the way. So that alone also, I'll pay $100 every single year to them. 
um, to get that kind of service and, and to maintain that relationship with somebody that's got my back for my business. So anyways, guys, I'll put that link in the description. You can check it out for yourself. I know this sounds really overwhelming, but man, an LLC is really going to protect you and your personal liabilities and assets and also give you that personal uh, pass-through tax flexibility. So thanks for watching, guys. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can continue to get more content just like this.